Welcome to day one of your flexibility challenge. Excited to go down this channel with you of seven days where we open up through the areas that are stiff and tight and as we age them and tighter, right? So I'm your host, Danita Young, owner and co-founder of Dance. I'm not only a certified personal trainer, but I have absolutely loved putting fitness into my life. Every different section of fitness has always been around in my life. And so flexibility is something that I always incorporate along with strength training, weightlifting, uh, hit workouts, all that other dancing. We always like to add in flexibility, right? So always good. It feels good and it feels good to get even like more flexible. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you through a seven day challenge. Now, what I want you to do for this is take six pictures so we can see if your flexibility was able to improve in this seven days. So here's what we're going to do. The first set of pictures that you're going to take is where you can either be seated on the ground and you're just trying to touch your toes, okay? It could be the picture or it could be you standing and you're just trying to touch your toes. So that will be the first picture that we'll take because at the end of the seven days, we're going to take it again. The second one, I want to see how much you can get into the splits. So the wide split, so how much can you get into the splits, whatever your progress is, go ahead and take that picture, usually like up overhead. Having someone take it up overhead will kind of really show the, the thing there. The third picture is going to be the other split, so your, your lengthwise splits, and um, how far can you go down. So if this is as far as you can go down, great. Obviously I can do the full splits, but if you can go down all the way, that'd be great. Um, let's go into the fourth one, which is going to be the crescent moon. So you can have your knee down in the back, the front leg is bent, bringing your hands up and just bending your back, okay? Now we want to see how flexible your lower back gets through this challenge. The next one is your downward facing dog, so the picture number five. So when you go into downward facing dog, are your heels to the ground or are they still up by your toes? Are you finding yourself that you're pulled more forward because of the stiffness in your body? Or can you bring your, your core toward your legs, right? So sending the heels down, core to your legs, as whatever progress that you can have now, take that picture. And then the final one would be the butterfly. So just putting the soles of your feet together and then just allowing your legs to hang and seeing how flexible you are through your hips right there. So those are the six different pictures you can take. Um, that will allow us to kind of see if you are progressing through it and starting to feel the benefits of getting more flexible. All right, you ready to go into it? So today is going to be really quick. It's only 15 minutes. We can put in anywhere in our day. 15 minutes is something that's very doable for all of us. So let's go ahead and start. What I want to first start off with is just kind of warm up the body through what they call sun salutations. When somebody took me through sun salutations, I got really dizzy and lightheaded. So I want you to go at your own pace, and I'm going to take it really slow so that we can feel the different muscles in our body working, and we can get nice and warmed up. Ready to go? Here we go. All right, everyone meet me at the top of the mat, placing your hand in your heart, setting the intention today for obviously getting more flexible, right? Take a nice big deep breath as you reach your hands up. Clasp your hands together, get a nice little back bend. Nothing too crazy. Go ahead and send your body forward as your head, the crown of your head goes straight out in front, straight back. Go ahead and exhale as you just roll your body forward as much as you can, bringing your head as close as you can to your legs. Go ahead and inhale. You go ahead and just have a flat back, head is straight in. Beautiful work. Then go ahead and go all the way forward into your forward fold. Beautiful. Go ahead and place your hands onto the mat. You can either step or you hop back into a plank. For modification, you can go ahead and find yourself in a kneeling plank. What we're going to do here is curl your toes under as we're going to go up into downward facing dog. And then bring it through as we go into upward facing dog. You can just flip those toes under. And you can even rest yourself down if you need a modification. If you're more advanced, you want to try to squeeze your thighs and have your thighs up off of the mat. Beautiful. 
Curl those toes under, send yourself back into the upward facing dog, and take five deep breaths. You can pedal your legs back and forth, just giving a nice good stretch of the back of the legs. Great work. When you're ready, go ahead and bring your right leg up towards the sky, giving a nice good stretch to the left leg. Bring it down, switch legs. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and step or float or hop back up to the top of your mat. Finding yourself into garland pose. The knees are nice and wide. Booty is down. When you're ready, go into your forward fold. Bring your feet about hip distance apart. Good. Make sure that you're breathing. Each one of these go into your flat back. Forward fold again. And then generously bend your knees as you roll up slowly one vertebrae at a time to the top of the mat. Take your time as if your blood is not as speedy as you are. You'll kind of feel a little lightheaded, so you want to make sure you go nice and slow to your own pace. Awesome work. Let's go ahead and do that again. Adding a couple different other variations in there. Placing your hand to your heart. Feeling aligned and connected. Go ahead and take a nice big deep breath. Reach those hands back. Send yourself forward, straight back. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Good. When you're ready, step back into that plank. You can modify with the knees onto the ground. We're going to go ahead and go into upward facing dog. When you're ready, go into downward facing dog. Pedal out the legs. You're going to be here for five breaths. Take that right leg nice and high up into the air. Swoop it through so you're going to bring the knee to your nose and then back up. Beautiful. Knee to nose. And this time you're going to go ahead and lay that leg down the top of your mat so it looks like seven. Now flexibility wise, some people can make it a seven. If you're not quite up at that point yet, you can bring the toe down more towards the groin. From here, go ahead and go into the low back as we just arch ourselves, look up towards the ceiling. And deep down to whatever feels best, maybe at your elbows. You can go all the way down right here. What I want you to do is just rock your hips side to side, listening to your body. Now think about these different poses, because you want to feel an uncomfort, but not a sharp shooting pain. So anytime that you feel like a sharp shooting pain, one, move like that. But if you feel a slight discomfort, that's where we want to stay. So bring it down. Start to really challenge yourself. What I'm going to do to challenge myself more here is lifting my toe up more so it's parallel to the top of the mat. As I try to bring my hips parallel to the mat so that my I'm feeling it through my glutes and through my hips. As I'm lowering my body closer to the mat, and you just focus on breathing here, so in through the nose. Exhale out and get a little deeper on the exhale. Inhale. Exhale, get a little deeper. Good. When you're ready, go ahead and place your hands up to the side. Of, um, right by your leg, go ahead and step back and go into your downward facing dog again. Go 
So we'll take that leg up now towards the sky and then bring it in towards the nose. So take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, let's go into the pigeon pose on the other side. Again, challenge yourself here. We want you to feel that nice kind of discomfort with the muscles as we get stronger, more flexible in that uncomfort place as we grow. So don't make it too easy, but also don't push yourself too much. So go ahead and just send the hands to the back as you push yourself back and up. Big inhale as you exhale, go ahead and fold down so you can feel that all through the hips, through the glutes. Nice good stretch here in pigeon pose. Walk the hips back and forth, feeling through all of the lower body area. Challenging yourself a little bit more, I'm going to bring, in, bring my foot a little bit higher as I'm going to parallel my hips. Very uncomfortable for me right here as I'm just going to take three deep breaths. So bring your hands back up, send that leg back, and find yourself back into downward facing dog. You can either step up to the top of your mat, or you can hop or float. When you're ready, I'm going to have you just open up through your hips here in the garland pose. So what you're doing is you have a really nice wide stance through your, through your uh, feet. The feet are slightly turned out. You're pressing against the knees, chest is up as you send your hips down towards the ground. You're going to really feel this one. So take a nice big breath. Exhale. Hold it here for that discomfort. Two more breaths in through the nose. Exhale. Good. Last one. And let's go ahead and send the hips up in the air. You go into your forward fold, heel toe, your feet so they're about shoulder distance apart. When you're ready, go ahead and just generously bend those knees and roll up slowly one vertebrae at a time. Awesome work. Not too bad, not too bad. You guys are doing great. Uh, go ahead and now do one more of those, and then we're going to take it to the wall, okay? You guys are doing great. Okay, so starting at the top of your mat, feet are about shoulder distance or hip distance apart. Hand to your chest at the beginning. Take a nice big deep breath. Reach those arms up. I'm doing a little back bend here. I don't know if you can see me. A little back bend. Good. When you're ready, go ahead and fold. So the head comes straight out, spine is nice and straight, and you're just lengthening yourself through the spine right here, pushing your tailbone back, but your head forward. So when you're ready, exhale and fold all the way down. Good, inhale as you come back up, straight flat back. Good, exhale again, forward fold. Beautiful job. Let's go ahead and step it back. We're going to go ahead and go into our upward king dog. Go ahead, curl the toes under. Let's go into our downward facing dog. Breathing, focus on your breath as you exhale. I want you to feel all the muscles relaxing in your body. Good. Good. Try to send those muscles towards the mat. Meaning you're pressing your chest through so that you're not over here, but your goal is to really push your chest close and close to your legs. 
beautiful work. Good. Plank that right leg up into the air. Open up through the hip. You can just literally play this movement as you just open that hip and go into circles. You might feel some pop. Whatever your body needs, you're going to feel it. So go ahead and just open that leg and then bring it back down. Left leg goes nice and high. Bend that knee. Do a couple circles. Awesome. And then let's go ahead and just have you walk all the way to the top of the mat. Opening up the legs nice and wide as we go into that garland pose. So send the hips down. You're gently pressing against those legs. Get a nice deep breath. See that of comfort. You're going to kind of fight through that, that little barrier of, I don't want to hold those anymore. Good. Go ahead and sit down onto the mat. One of my most favorite ones, cow face. You're going to go ahead and take one leg at the bottom. doesn't matter which one. You're going to take the other one and stack it on top of the other one. Now, your flexibility is going to be different than mine versus yours versus your husband versus your sister versus your mother. It doesn't matter. You're with me right now and you're working on your own flexibility, okay? So you might find that your leg only goes to right here, or you might find that you have to straighten out that leg, or you might find that you have to have some extra pillows, and that's okay, all right? So starting, your goal is to try to eventually stack the two knees on top of each other, but however it looks for you, that's okay. We're going to take a nice big deep inhale. You inhale, I want you to focus on bringing your spine up, lengthening yourself as much as possible, and then exhale, I want you to just keep that length and you're gonna fold as deep as you can to the point that feels very uncomfortable in your muscles. Again, no sharp shooting pain, but you wanna feel, wow, this is very uncomfortable, and just hold it there, and we're gonna breathe for three breaths. While we're ready, go ahead and take that leg, bring it out, straighten it out right here. You can either bend or straighten. Here you're just going to feel a nice good stretch to the back of the hamstrings. Nice big inhale. As you ex exhale, you're going to just flip that leg out, comes onto the bottom. The other leg's going to come on top. Just as we did before, you're going to inhale to lengthen through your spine. Send yourself as tall as you can. And as you exhale, you're going to fold now over the other leg. Okay, go ahead and that leg, you can hold it straight out, whether it's bent or straight, that's okay. Feel that stretch to the back of your legs. Awesome. And the last one we're going to go into is frog pose. So let's go ahead and now go do what's called a tabletop position. So your hands right underneath your shoulders, your knees are right underneath your hips. What we're going to do is we're going to send our knees out as wide as we possibly can. So really open up through your hips, and then you're going to take your legs out with it. From here, you're just going to go to your elbows. If you need to, you can use a pillow here. Use whatever, and you might feel that this is extremely uncomfortable for you, and you're going to stop right here, and that's where you hold it through. If you feel like you can go a little bit deeper with me, go ahead and slowly start to allow your legs to get out a little bit wider as you send your hips right to the ground. Good. We're going to hold here for three minutes.
So when you're ready, go ahead and just bring those knees together as you kind of heel toe, the legs and your feet, as we're just going to go up into an arch into your cat cow. This is a time and a place to move anything in your body that feels a little bit stiff. So personally, I love in this pose just to go back and forth, up and down. And you'll feel what the muscles will need. They're going to talk to you and tell you what and how to move your body. This is a time to just move your body freely. So just for the next minute, anything that you feel like you can add into it, feel free to do that now. And then the last tip of the day, what I want to do is, is challenge you that whatever you're doing, whether it be cleaning or organizing or folding socks or folding laundry, something that pretty much has you in a stationary pose where normally you're sitting in a chair or sitting on the couch, watching television, whatever your activity is, I challenge you this week to get yourself in this pose right here. And to be doing your stuff and to reach for this over here and to reach for that over there. When you're reading your book and you find yourself getting lower and lower as you read your book, I challenge you to find yourself in this pose. Now, this pose can be flipped to this pose, okay? So, reading your book or, you know, talking to your kids or whatever it is you're doing, I want you to try to find yourself out of the typical chair life, okay? So, can all of you right now take the challenge for today by doing that particular pose through the rest of the week? I want you to think, how can I start getting myself off the chair, going to the floor, and doing more of this? If you're ready to take that challenge, go ahead and comment below. Obviously, you're watching me live. And if you're not watching me live, go ahead and click the link below to join our Facebook group. Tell us who you are. We want to know you, get to know you, and obviously hear that you're ready to take this challenge with us. So, are you ready to sit more like this? A question, comment below. And then um, over time, you start to see that it's going to start opening up and you can keep challenging yourself because you never want it to be super comfortable, right? Challenging yourself to get closer and closer and closer. As you're doing these activities and doing other things, you're going to start to notice the flexibility is going to be amazing, okay? All right, so take the challenge. This one, right side down. Laundry folding, book reading, organizing, working. I don't care. Find yourself. You can be watching television like this. I don't care. But find yourself more in these type of uh, lengthy positions that when you're ready, you can shake it out, wiggle it out, move it out, and take some breaks with it. Cool? Up for the challenge? Awesome. Well, it's great having you guys for day one. I'll see you on day two, which will be tomorrow. Um, so check me out as I'm going to go through more of the body into the back and into the upper body. I'm going to take you more and more to the split. So cheers. Have an amazing rest of your day.